Hello, we're going to make a conversation heart 3D drawing today. So, you have no doubt seen these cute little conversation candy hearts around. And this time of year, they're especially easy to find. So what we're going to do is draw a heart using a tracer on a 9x9 nine nine piece of white paper with pencil, and then we're going to add a thickness to the bottom of the heart, showing that that's a different value with lines for texture. Um, after we do that, outlining in Sharpie, we're going to paint it using two values of the same color. So in this one, I use a lighter pink, pastel pink, that I just mix this pink with white to create, and then the bottom, I just use the um, straight pink from the bottle. And then I painted the background with another pastel color, a different color. Um, so that's what we're going to go through right now. Okay, so the things that you're going to need are heart chaser, template, a piece of 9x9, nine nine, white paper, pencil, eraser, sharpie, conversation hearts to look at as visual aids, and your paint. Uh, pastel colors. I tried to match the colors that I saw um, in the bag of conversation hearts. Okay, so when you start to trace your heart, you want to put it higher on your paper because we know that we're going to need a little bit of extra room at the bottom to show our thickness here. So plan ahead and make that happen. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and trace my heart, leaving extra space at the bottom. for the thickness of the heart. Okay, that's done. Now I'm gonna add the thickness. So for the thickness, I just add a line right here at the tip of the heart, this long, okay? Now I'm going to draw the sides of my heart to the um, part where the heart starts to curve. So I'm just gonna swoop a line up. I find that drawing it a little quickly is easier for me. And I'm going to do the same on the other side. And then I can always go back and perfect it. Um, like I see that this side's a little thicker than that side, so I'm going to go back and change that so that my sides are even. Okay. Um, this side, I think, bows out a little too far, so I'm going to go back and fix that before I outline in Sharpie. There we go. Now I'm happy. Okay, so this is what we have so far. All right, so I'm not going to draw the lines at the bottom to show the texture and the thickness of the heart with pencil. I'm just going to draw this straight with Sharpie. So here we go. Outlining with Sharpie. Medium tip Sharpie works great for this. First, I'm outlining my heart, taking my time very careful. This is a really simple drawing and painting, so neatness is very important. Nice, clear neat lines. Okay, here's the thickness of my heart. Okay, so that's finished. So we're, we're looking at our heart like this. So with the tip pointing towards us. So that way we can see the thickness of that heart. Like that. Okay. All right, so now I'm going to draw the lines. Um, you can start either pulling your lines down from the top or from the bottom. The important thing is that you go straight up and down. Straight up and down lines. And I'm just pulling up from the bottom. Same on this side. And that just kind of gives it a different texture, which... Um, makes it look like it has a different value, different color value. So when I say value, I mean uh, different colors. So if we look closely at this one, we can see that the top is lighter than the side. So those are different values of the same color, pink. Okay, so on my heart, I get to pick what I want to write on it. So when you pick what you want to say on your conversation heart, just think about if you would be proud to show this to um, your teacher, your mom, um, someone that, you know, would look at it and think that 
you were being silly if you wrote something silly on it. So just think about what you write before you write it because this is a nice drawing and it's going to be a nice picture to give to someone if you do a good job and um, think, think ahead. So you can look at the hearts that you have on your table and decide what you want it to say or you can just come up with your own saying. So on this one, I'm just going to keep it simple. LOL. Okay, so now I'm ready to clean up any pencil lines that I've left behind and paint. Okay, ready for paint. So I am going to paint this one blue. Since we've seen a pink one, we'll go for another color this time. Um, I always like to blot my brush if it's been in water on a paper towel. I don't want my paint to be too watered down. So I'm going to paint the top of the heart first. And I've just got white mixed with the same blue right here. And it just takes a little squirt of the color um, and more white to make the color, to make a pastel color. A pastel color is just um, a color mixed with white, a lighter shade. Lighter color. I'm just going to paint this whole heart, this whole top of my heart. And you guys can take your time. I'm going to try to put this on quickly so we can move right along. Try to stay in the lines, though. Don't worry about the Sharpie lines. You can always go back when it's dry and write over your lines to make them nice and bold again. Okay, now that that's covered, we are going to paint the sides. And like I said, we're going to use the same color, just a darker value. So I've got just straight blue right here. It's really not necessary to wash my brush since it's the same color. And I'm just going to dunk my brush right into that darker blue and paint my edges, the sides of the heart. So if you look closely at one of the conversation hearts as it sits on your table, um, can you see that there's a different value um, on the sides as there is on the top? That's what I want you to notice. It's a little darker just because of the way the light hits it. Just take note of that. That's a great way to see shadow, see different values of a color. As an artist, those are things that you should notice. Okay. So that one's finished. Now all I have left to do is paint my background. So you can pick a color. Um, every table will have three colors. So you can pick a color from your table that's different from the one you used. Um, I just have two here today, so I'll probably use pink for my background. Um, any color that you like is fine, though. And just paint in the background, and you're done. All right.